so the project I'm working on today is going to be a Valentine's Day card for my son's teacher. Um, I asked him to sketch up a design and uh, come up with an idea. And so he um, created a little uh, card on paper and um, wrote his teacher's information down and then um, uh, wanted a bouquet of cats because she has four cats. And so I am going to be working on that today and sharing my progress. So the first thing I did um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought some like sparkle spray paint. Uh, I can, I'll put that in the notes of what it is, but it's super pretty it's glitter. Um, and then I oversprayed because that's what I do. I ruin the things I make on accident because I'm impatient. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna take this glitter uh, spray. It's on MDF. I think it's uh, probably three millimeter MDF, got off Etsy. And I'm going to try and cut it and see if we can make a cute little Valentine for my son's teacher. And here we go. Okay, so here's the, my son's design that he did. Um, and basically we're just gonna use that uh, glitter MDF that I showed you. And I forgot to mention that the reason that it has paper on it, that's called masking. And that prevents the laser from burning the heck out of it um, and keeps it clear uh, once you remove it. It looks really nice. So this is the card. And then I had purchased a puzzle a while back with some cats. Um, that I also created on the Glowforge and those cats, I grabbed a couple of them and added because he wanted that cat bo bouquet on there. So we'll see what happens. back and I have a successfully cut out piece of MDF. Um, halfway through the middle I'm like oh maybe I should cover up her name or something so that's why I um, stopped recording uh, when it was cutting in the Glowforge. I'm like I you know it doesn't bother me but I was a teacher and I'm like don't be putting my name out on stuff. So anyway I don't know. Um, so I selected the wrong material. I actually selected um, uh, basswood hardwood which cuts very differently than plywood so it didn't go through on the first time so if you don't touch it um, and you can come back and ignore the parts you don't want to redo you can have it run again and um and on the second second time through it did cut so um now i'm peeling back the uh masking here as you can see and um what I used was scoring. So scoring is a way to uh, basically just do an outline instead of engraving. It's way faster. Um, it doesn't look as nice because it doesn't like color it in. Um, but for this purpose, I thought it was just fine. And I always can go back and add something else if I want, but I still think it's really cute. And I might even go over it with um, like a, a Posca pen or something if I'm, feeling motivated to make it look a little bit better. So let me peel this off. And again, I would show you, but I'm trying to cover up the name because I don't know if it's weird. Um, and so this is basically the uh, template. And now we're going to cut out cats and we're going to glue them to the little bouquet. So stay tuned for one second. Okay, just kidding, I changed my mind. Um, instead of having it just be outlined, I have this acrylic hot, Hi, um, uh, mirrored acrylic that I got in this very pretty color and I think that would look so cool on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I just got some of this like 3M tape stuff. It's double-sided tape. So you put it on the side and you want it to be sticky. It's totally safe for the laser. It cuts it out and then you automatically have a sticky back. Um, and so then I can stick it right onto the glitter. So that is what I'm going to be doing next. So now hang on for one second and we'll see how this works. I've not used it before. It stinks. Ugh. All right, here we go. Thinky blank. A couple things to note. You have to reverse the lettering for near the acrylic um, because you're actually cutting on the reverse side. So I think normally the 
the um the sticky stuff is on the opposite side so hopefully this works okay it doesn't like set my machine on fire um but so far so good uh and i'll just let that go um something else i was gonna say no i think that's it um okay we're gonna let this go and hope for the best I remembered what I was going to say. It smells terrible. So normal acrylic smells terrible. Mirrored acrylic is like 10 times worse. So if you get a glow forge and you want to do acrylic or mirrored acrylic, make sure you have a good fan to vent it out the window. And I wear uh, the N95, um, which helps me not feel like I'm tasting it and breathing it all day long. Another thing, um, once it's done, I use uh, cheap old labels to take it out of the glow force so that I don't lose all those little pieces. Um, and I'll show you that once it comes out. Okay, and it is good and cut. So I'm just gonna lay that label right on top and it's going to stick to all those pieces so that I can bring them right up. And there it is, cut. And it's stuck together on the back with a label and now I'm going to stick it onto the actual letter. Another part of this process is adding a little bit of color to the score line so that when you peel off the masking from the acrylic, you have uh, the highlight there. Um, I use these Deco Color Premium pens from Walmart. I actually got the tip from another YouTuber that I uh, follow called uh, that Mom with a Laser. Um, I would recommend checking her out because she has a completely different laser, a big one. Uh, and um, just kind of cool to see somebody else doing other things too. So anyway, um, I use these pens, color it in, and then when you peel it off, you'll get to see the gold and the silver. So I will show that stuff in a moment as well. Here is the progress at the moment. I ended up going with um, some mirrored blue, mirrored teal acrylic for the, hello, for the um, base. And then you can see my mirrored acrylic for the top part. Um, and yes, I know Valentine's is spelled wrong, but that's cute. And then my cats are still drying. And then I will move the masking and we will see what it looks like complete. All right, after a ridiculously long time, which of course you guys don't get to enjoy or experience, um, I have it done. So, um, Hindsight, I wouldn't have done the mirrored acrylic for um, the lettering because that was awful. Uh, little tiny pieces and glue and sticky stuff, but um, it's pretty, uh, so I guess there's that. But um, each little dot, like I kind of had to do the tweezer thing and stuff, so that was frustrating. Um, and then I did a uh, teal mirror acrylic for the vase there and then the kitties are done and then you can see how once you how do I get them to focus in there um once you peel off the masking then that like silver or gold is left behind i think the little dark orange kitty uh, like that one's nice and then the one in the middle you don't want to focus do you let's see all right well whatever um and then on the back i just engraved it with uh, made with lots of love by my son fourth grade 2021 so that is the product for today. We will stick this in an envelope and call this done. Um, would I do that again? Uh, with some modifications, I think. Um, it wasn't my favorite thing, but it's fun to take uh, Turk's ideas and uh, create, you know, something that's a little more polished, but it still hopefully uh, looks like he had a hand in it. Uh, and um, I know his teacher will appreciate it. So. I think that's it for today. Again, if you enjoyed this, please click like, uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and remember to click the bell for notifications if you want to see even more than that. Um, and if not, then don't. Um, and have a great day. Bye.